Well, Richard Strauss and Hugo von Hoffmann Strauss Elektra is really an amazingly uh, complex, deep piece on one hand. On the other hand, it's a very, very amazing thriller, like almost a horror movie thriller. Um, there are dreadful, terrible deeds happening in this family. Um, there have been murders in the past, and there will be more murders today when the piece is taking place. So one of the things that interests me most is how to balance the kind of almost modern 20, 21st century feel of an, an amazing thriller, almost the father of the horror genre in the 20th century. You can see lots of, lots of horror films almost belonging to the same sort of uh, um, uh, type of, uh, of writing. And the music too, which sometimes uh, sounds exactly like the score of a horror movie. And these deeper sort of mythological archetypal situations that go right back to the ancient Greeks, to Sophocles. It's a kind of version by Hoffmannsthal of the Sophocles play. Um, and how to balance something that is very, very psychologically deep and intense and something that really must shock and hold the audience's attention minute to minute. So what we've decided to do is set the piece in a modern museum so that you have the sense of all these ancient artifacts all around the place. Maybe this museum could almost be anywhere. It could be on the site in Mycenae in Greece where a, a, a certain amount of things have been collected that go back to the original um, s scene or the original location of the of the, the piece, which is the house of Atreus in, 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 in Greek, in Mycenae. And, and what, um, what then begins to happen is that somebody who's going through the museum, a girl, a woman, starts reading about Electra, about the Electra complex, a kind of fascination that Freud and Jung debated that we have um, uh, women for their uh, fathers as men for their mothers in the Oedipus complex. She, she's perhaps never encountered this before, but these, these artifacts and this information triggers off a series of memories and so that we go back into her story in the telling of the original Electra myth. So she keeps seeing things that obviously has a really deep basis in her own memory. And so what one finds through the piece is that layer by layer is stripped away until we get back to the, of the terrible event that started this whole um, chain reaction of murder and mayhem. Um, and she has to confront the truth by confronting the myth. <laughs>